right now, the Mid-South Certified Most Accurate Forecast. Back now for a full look at weather with meteorologist Kit Thomas. Look at those roadways out there. And of course, this is the bridge over the Mississippi River right there, I-40. A lot more traffic now because I-55 is still closed. Yeah, they're taking all that weight there from that traffic, but at least it's moving. Yeah, and fortunately, temperatures are on the cool side of things tonight. We've got 60s and 70s around Memphis and into parts of Mississippi, Tennessee, Arkansas, all over the place. Nice and mild temperatures for us. But take a look here at the map. We've got 69 degrees in Truman, 70 in Forest City, Clarksdale, Mississippi at 73 degrees. We've got 64 in Oxford and 70 degrees up the road in Covington. Now we're about two, four, five degrees cooler than we were last night. So that's some good news, but this is the first time we're gonna, or the last time we're going to be seeing those temperatures on the cooler side over the next several days. It's gonna take until next week before we start to cool things down after we warm things up. Now tomorrow we are still going to be on the cooler side of things, the mid 80s, high pressure is moving in. That's gonna bring in the heat. The humidity is also going to be streaming out of the Gulf. Heat index over 100 degrees is expected as we head into the weekend. We've got some high level clouds out here, but no rain. They're too high and too dry to really be bringing any precipitation for us. They have seen some showers in parts of Oklahoma and Texas through the day today. A little bit of severe weather as well down uh, through the Big Bend area there of Texas. But most of this moisture is, again, very dry moisture and isn't going to be providing any precipitation for us and no relief at all. We keep some of the clouds overnight through the day Wednesday. We clear them out and we'll be very uh, clear as we head overnight into Thursday. Similar story into Friday and into Saturday and into Sunday. Now the mild temperatures we've been enjoying, those are headed out. We're getting the hot air from the west moving into the southeast. And when we have that high pressure to our east, that's going to be bringing a southern breeze for us. A lot of humidity, all of that soppy air coming out of the Gulf of Mexico is going to help our heat index values get over 100 degrees in the next few days. Now tonight we're dropping back into the 60s and 50s for some of us here in parts of eastern Tennessee or western Tennessee I should say that is going to be a cool night and that's going to be about it. Look at these temperatures for tomorrow. We're getting up into the mid 80s here in eastern Arkansas, northern Mississippi, also mid 80s, more mid 80s here, Covington 84, Alamo at 85 degrees. Take a look at your seven day forecast. We get that 86 tomorrow and then 90s all the way through the weekend. We're going to just see that temperature continue to go up and up and up and then eventually we'll cool back into the 80s later next week. We've been enjoying this nice mild air mass the last few days. It's moving back to the northeast, hot air moving in its place as we get into the weekend time frame. Now, the thing is, the heat index is going to be the other factor with this. It's not just the mid 90s that we're seeing. It's also the fact that we're seeing the heat index well over 100 degrees Saturday and Sunday. We haven't seen temperatures like that since our last major heat wave we had back in August. We haven't seen an extended period in the 90s since late September, early October. So it's been quite a while. So you want to remember those heat safety tips. Make sure that you stay safe, stay cool, stay inside, stay hydrated. And you can read more about this on our website, abc24.com slash now.